In this video, I'm going to share with you the huge, gigantic, gargantuan mistake that pretty much everyone I see make when they first rent out their spare bedroom. It's probably not what you're thinking, but you definitely want to listen to and avoid this mistake as much as you can because if you make this mistake, you're in for a world of hurt. So let's dive into the mistake right this moment. The question is, is your house an asset or a liability? What do you think? What a 20% of all the dollars ever printed were printed since 2019. Experience. Reading books is great, but learning from your experience is how you do it. Hey guys, I am Max. Welcome to my channel. If you have not, if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you are enjoying it. Let's dive into the big mistake right now. So by far, the biggest mistake I see people making every single day that I speak with is a lack of preparation. They're not preparing for the room effectively. They're not preparing for the roommate effectively. If you go in to a room rental situation, doesn't matter whether it's your best friend, doesn't matter whether it is your <laughs> friend from down the block, friend from childhood, or a complete stranger you met on Facebook or Craigslist. You want to make sure you have four elements into this thing so you are prepared. The first one being a room ad. Yes, and I'm not talking about any old room ad. I'm talking about a room ad that's going to help you find the absolute perfect roommate. Now, when I say perfect, I don't mean that they're going to be everything you want in a roommate, but here's the thing. The more you ask the universe, the more it's likely to happen. So I want to show you something. I have a room advertisement you can get if you go to rent, excuse me, maxmymoney.org slash rent your room. The link will be in the description. Go to that URL, type in your name and email, and I will send you over the 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 room room advertisement so if we go into there we go sample room advertisement so if we go to this room advertisement i want to show you what's different in this one compared to most now you'll see a couple things here the big th big difference here is i'm very specific one two almost three pages worth of advertisement now this is not because i'm uptight this is not because i really care so much about the care so much about the qualities of the person it's i want to know that they are going to be there and they are going to be the right person i remember when i first did, did this advertisement i would jokingly uh think to myself i this is the perfect roommate wanted advertisement because does this person even exist i would laugh and say probably not but if it does if they do exist let's give it a shot i d did it my first time <laughs> my first time i ever put this this exact this exact room ad up i put it up and guess what? Zero phone calls the first day. So I thought, oh my gosh, you'd be kidding me. I just spent all this time. I spent literally hours talking about, thinking thinking to myself, what qualities in a roommate do I want? And I listed out, there's probably about eight different qualities in here that are all super important. And I did that. The first 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 day, no phone calls. <laughs> I thought to myself, oh man, I totally failed. I'm going to take this out, redo it. What did I do wrong? I thought, okay, I'm going to sleep on it. Tomorrow I'm going to make a decision. The next day, receive a phone call. This guy ended up being what I would label the ideal roommate. Quiet, to himself, paid rent on time every single month, and was pretty pleasant to be around. We had some similar interests. It was by far the perfect situation. And here's the kicker. He stayed for over three years. Talk about not having to redo the paint, anything. Over, oh, the, the, problem, the problem with renting rooms in general is there's usually high turnaround. Turnover, excuse me. So that means they're there for two months, they trash the place, you have to repaint. Oh my gosh. Repainting every two months is a drag. What's awesome is with this advertisement, I was able to find the ideal roommate. He stayed for over th almost three and a half years. The only reason he moved out is because he finished college and he was moving on. So I was happy for him. But I, I, and selfishly, I was thinking, oh, man, I wish he could stay for three and a half more years because it was such a good situation. So anyway, so the room, ad room advertisement is very, 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 very important. You want to make sure you have the right one. So go to the URL and make sure to download it. Okay, second one. And again, this is this is all the lack of preparation. They want you want to make sure that you are prepared when you do this. Number two is screening questions. Most people ask very basic questions. Basic questions are great when you're on a first date and you're just learning about somebody. You have to remember, this person is asking to live with you. This person is going to share a space with you. Now, if that's not one of the biggest decisions you can make, I don't know what is. You're asking someone to be, come into your intimate life, more or less into your life, intimate life, and be close to you in your living in space. 
I've seen so many vague questions. And the problem is at the very beginning, when I started doing this, I started asking vague questions and guess what? I had to evict not one, but a couple people because they were not the right people. They were doing things that were deal breakers to me. And I didn't know what those deal breakers were until I actually asked those questions. If you go to the same URL, you will get access to 22 screening questions. I ask, they are, they will save you so much time because the last thing you want to do is spend a ton of time on someone who is not going to move in. If you spend 30 minutes on the phone call with somebody, three other people probably already called you to ask about the room. You don't want to deal with that. You want to make sure you are, you are answering the questions and moving on to the person who's actually going to rent your room. Because the last thing you want to spend much time on people who are not qualified to even call you to begin with. The amount of phone calls I received, no joke. I, I didn't, I, 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 my first advertisement was terrible. I had 20 or over 20, I think it was 25, 25 people call me the first day I ever did it. I was completely overwhelmed and I didn't know what questions to ask. So many of the voicemails and so many of the people I spoke with were completely unqualified should not have been calling me to begin with. These screening questions are your first line of defense to make sure you're actually finding the right person. Okay, so the room, room ad, room ad. You will get access to the room ad, go to the link, screening questions. Uh, there's too many to go over, but you wanna make sure that they are simply the right person for you. All right, number three is a rental agreement. You want to make sure the rental agreement is in place because again, it doesn't matter if it's your cousin, your friend from down the road, your childhood friend, or a stranger you met from Craigslist or Facebook. You want to make sure agreements are in place. And that goes into the last one, which is roommate rules or house rules. The rental agreement and the house and the roommate rules are very similar. They the the rental agreement talks more specifics when rent is due, if you default, returning keys, things of that nature. The roommate rules are more so about the house rules, how you want to run your establishment, I call it, how you want to run this house. If you don't have things in writing, you give them you give someone an inch and they will take a mile. You want to make sure you have everything in writing. The last thing you want is to have a really good environment, really good rental environment, and people do not respect it. That is something you don't want to deal with. You don't want to deal with someone who's not going to respect your rules. And if you don't have any rules to begin with, if you don't know what you're searching for, then how are you ever going to expect to get it? And that's the problem with I find most people. Most people are fine knowing in their head what they want, but they never actually put it on paper and they never actually put it so people can see. So how is your roommate, your new roommate, supposed to know you want things a certain way if you never tell them, if you never go about it in a way where they understand? Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Here's the room ad. The room ad is good. Now let's pull this one up. Roommate agreement, which is pretty much the house rules. I have 15 rules here. The, what I've realized is the more rules I have, the better person I find. Yes, it really is a one-to-one -one effect. The more strict I am, although it, se it seems really odd, you'd think the more strict you are, the more difficult things would be. But actually, it's the opposite. The more strict and the higher I put my standards, the more and more I get the person who actually is here to stay. Like I said, when I first started, when I first, first started, I had people stay for one month, two months, a few months at a time. It made for a drag. I wasn't being profitable. They were not the right people. They were leaving the place usually trashed with a bunch of stuff on the inside. I had to clean it up. It was really a headache. Once I started becoming specific, once I started getting organized and preparing, which is what it's all about. It's all about, you know, the lack of preparation, preparing for things, having these four elements, room advertisement to make sure you find the right person initially so they can self disqualify themselves. Second screening questions. My first questions are really, really, really simple. If they don't answer an affirmative Y-E-S to these first two questions, I move on. I politely say, it sounds like it might not be a good fit. I wish you the best. A 20-minute phone call that is with someone who's not going to be your roommate turned into a 60-second phone call. What am I going to do with the other 18, 19 minutes? Hmm, so much free time. You have so much free time. You want to be organized? Prepare. That's what it's all about. The more you can prepare for these things, the more you can prepare for the not-so-good stuff which I'm going to discuss on more videos, <laughs> conflict resolution, how we go about that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys in the next one and have a magnificent, happy landlording experience.
Bye for now.